Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Kickstarted Cats and Catacombs set. This is a very heroic 28mm scale set of cat adventurers, i.e. cats dressed up as D&D characters, which is both useful and might be really fun because this did come with PDFs explaining how to use these miniatures as D&D PCs. In addition, it also came with a PDF of an adventure specifically geared for cat adventures. Now, as you can clearly see here, these are oversized and over-exaggerated to showcase the very nice little details on there. They have a lot of little bits and bobs on the miniatures to really bring out the character class. So they're not as small as true 28mm cats, but frankly, if they were that small, it'd be very difficult to get this level of detail. So, yeah. And unfortunately, there are some of these that do have mold lines. Nothing egregious, but some of these will have to be cleaned up a little bit before you paint and prime them. But overall, I mean, the detail is sharp. Like I said, there's lots of really nice little accents on the clothing and equipment. And these are going to be a very fun but very complex group of miniatures to paint. So if you are just starting out, I would recommend you perhaps try something else before you start to tackle this specific set of miniatures. So there you have it. You will be able to find this set online and in stores soon. Again, uh, this sort of stuff is a little bit of a personal preference for me. You may not like these particular miniatures, but this is just something I get a kick out of. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I've been trying to get some crafting videos done, but I have been very, very busy in my work life. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on any sort of videos you would like to see and I can actually do given the current set of circumstances. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Oh hey Kringle, what you doing? Oh hey. Nah, I'm just uh, I'm just playing around with this little puppet you uh, bought. Well, that's that's kind of ironic, don't you think? Why? Oh. And at that moment, I realized I had never told Kringle he was a puppet. Maybe he just didn't even realize he was a puppet.